Hello everyone, Heindine here and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we will go through how to use rockets in the Mirage F1. When we open up the armament screen here we can see that uh, we can carry the SNEB rockets. It is often referred to the Matra rocket because of the launcher. You can carry them in uh, parts of 36 or 18. We can carry high explosive rockets. TP I believe is uh, target practice. I have never used uh, them to be honest and high explosive anti-tank, smoke grenades, and high explosive frag. These are my favorites. And the high explosive frag, I believe though these are laser guided. I'm not uh, completely sure to be honest. And TPSM, I believe that's uh, target practice and smoke. But uh, the ones you will be used uh, most frequently are the high explosive uh, frag and uh, high, high explosives and uh, high explosive anti-tank ones. So let's load up this uh, jet with some uh, rockets and let's head, head out to the target area. All right, everyone, now we are in the air and in front of us, we have uh, a couple of targets. We are going to uh, attack these trucks right here. Let's set up our aircraft. If you open up our B board by pressing right shift and kilo, we can scroll to this list right here. Here you also find all the operational procedures, by the way, which is worth uh, taking a look at. And here is our depression angle tables. I always like uh, at, uh, attacking at high speed because I don't like uh, spending too much time over enemy territory, more than necessary. So we are going to attack at 450 knots. And we're going to uh, aim at uh, releasing our rockets at between uh, 2000 and uh, 3000 uh, feet above ground and have a dive angle of 10 feet, uh, I mean 10 degrees. So let's set our depression to 55. We scroll right here. Like so. Now, let's set up our weapons. We're going to uh, press uh, uh, cannon and rockets. This is the air to ground mode. We're going to flip this one up to instantaneous. With this button, you choose between a single or salvo. If you have it in single and you hold the weapon release button, then it fires rockets all uh, up until you uh, release the, the button. If it, uh, if you have it in salvo, then it fires uh, four rockets uh, in uh, one shot, or with one pull, uh, push of the trigger. On this uh, button right here, or I mean this uh, switch, you select which uh, rocket pods you're going to uh, use. The outboard ones, or the inboard ones. Let's start with our egg, uh, outboard ones. This is where we have our high explosive rockets. And of course, don't uh, forget to arm, uh, to uh, switch the armament to switch, or your weapons won't fire, like so. So at this point we are ready to commence our attack, so let's uh, unpause. Let's turn off the radar, I find it a bit annoying when doing this. I like to keep an uh, airspeed of uh, at least uh, 350 knots before commencing my attack and have a quite high altitude, uh, 8000 feet uh, or above. And that is uh, to uh, keep a better lookout for enemy AAA and uh, uh, SAM systems. Since we are having such a sl uh, shallow dive, we are going to extend uh, uh, our attack run quite a bit. 10,000 feet, that should be enough. Let's drop it back a little bit. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Let's just pause here. You need, to, of course, to know the altitude of your target. This one is pretty much at sea level, 43 feet above uh, sea level. And you need to take that into consideration uh, when uh, doing your attack run. And of course, we are going to use salvo mode for the first attack run. The great thing about this aircraft that is that you have a HUD, so it's a lot easier to actually uh, uh, 
see uh, the, the dive angle. Okay, let's turn in. Let's throttle up a little bit while we're turning in. We have a bit of a steep dive right now, but I think we're quite good. Remember to trim the aircraft. Let's throttle back, approaching 450. Five thousand feet, and we go really fast. We can deploy air brakes, but we'd rather not. Okay, let's just pause there. Right now, our parameters is not perfect. We have a bit of a steep dive and we're going uh, almost 60 knots too fast, but uh, let's just aim a little bit uh, short of the target and I think we will be okay. And we hit a bit too far, so let's try one more time. Alright, for our next attack run, let's uh, switch uh, uh, to uh, the uh, uh, single mode. And let's hold down our trigger and let's empty these pots right here. Alright, we're coming up on a target. Let's move in. Let's try to get a better attack run this time. Let's accelerate a little bit. Right now our dive is quite good. again. Oh, that's a direct hit. Not too bad, I would say. That was quite a good attack run, I would say. Now, let's jettison those uh, external uh, uh, pods. Let's flip this one up to two. Flip this one and press this one. Let's uh, flip this one to the inboard station. And let's uh, do one more attack using uh, the salvo mode. You know what guys, let's uh, just keep it in uh, the single mode. It came up a little bit too quick on me there, so now we're in a uh, too steep dive once again. Let's overcompensate our dive right here, and let's try to get it correct. Yeah, that's quite good. Oh, just to uh, pause a little bit. When you're doing a 10 degree dive, I have uh, discovered that uh, roughly 7000 RPM is uh, more or less correct. Six to eight thousand, not more than that. Ooh, that's a direct hit. Alright, 
now we emptied our entire pod, so let's jetson that one as well. So let's flip this one to uh, number one and press this one. So guys, that is how you use uh, the rockets in the Mirage. I hope uh, you learned something. Feel free to uh, drop your own uh, tips in the comment section. Thank you all for watching, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.